welcome or welcome back today i will be painting over this drawing that i did for my last video it's alice from alice in wonderland and i really loved her hair in that movie so it was in my hair tutorial video if you haven't seen it yet it's up in my channel and it's the last one i uploaded before this one but before all that and before I talk about all of the things I love about gouache, I really want to take this time to thank everyone for helping me reach 53,000 subscribers. That is actually mind-blowing to me. And I also want to take this time to announce that I will be doing exclusive videos. They won't be very long, they'll be ju they'd just be my sketching videos that I do for practice and to fill up my sketchbook um, but I will either be uploading them here on YouTube for future members or on Patreon I haven't really decided which platform to do them yet but that is why I want to ask you guys which one you would prefer so I can know where to focus my other content on and also I just started a Discord um, server, I'm, it's very chill and there's a few people in there right now and I'll be putting the link in the description. I think it will last for about 7 days after I use it. So if you guys are also interested in that, I will be leaving the link in the description. That is where I will put my video updates on and also where you guys can share your own artworks and we can, we can all just hang out. So now we are moving on to this actual painting. Um, I'm using my Holbein gouache and later on I will explain why I'm using it more than my Mia gouache aside from the quality of the paints. But yeah, I'm using that right now and these are the colors that I'm using. And so while I'm painting this, I also want to talk about all the things that I love about gouache. Um, the very main thing that made me buy gouache in the first place was the fact that I can color my drawings on it in my regular sketchbook and I know a lot of people say you're not supposed to touch your old works just so you can keep track of your progress but there's times when I just want to color something and <laughs> so I do it anyway. My sketchbook is just something that I never want to put set rules on. I always want it to be something that invites me to create or do stuff and also something that I can allow myself to explore on. So yeah, I really like using gouache on my regular sketchbooks because while I can do the same things with watercolors, it ends up being very restrictive and you're only able to do a few layers in before the paper gives on you. But with gouache, you can choose not to add that much water on it, so it's not that much of a problem with the regular paper. And this way, I'm also able to keep most of my drawings and my paintings in one place, which also makes me finish the sketchbook much faster. I've been loving being able to just squeeze out just enough paint that I'm gonna use at a time. That way I'm using, I'm working with fresh paint most of the time and I don't have to struggle too much with getting the right consistency. But the way I use the Mia gouache, it's not really that different because I just scoop out enough paint that I'm gonna use at a time. So it's not really just with the whole binds or with tube gouache in general but also just taking out the whole container for the Mia gouache becomes such a messy process especially since I took out the lids for them um, I still think you shouldn't I still think if you are able to you should just keep the lids on if not for the consistency of the paints then just for 
keeping the mess in. But yeah, it's something that is very trivial. It's not really that big of a deal, but I so it's also something that I didn't really expect. Um, I sort of expected to use up my Mia gouache for all of my sketchbook paintings like this one and to use my whole lines for my bigger pieces that I want to keep because it is a lot more expensive. I do want to say that if you're someone who's only is already used to color mixing and already knows how, which colors you are going to use most of the time to just get um, individual tubes if you are able to of the Holbein's and not of the Mia gouache. Don't get me wrong, the Mia is still a great gouache brand and I did learn so much just from painting with it and it inspires me to paint because there's so much of the paint but because I only use a handful of colors at a time it's kind of a waste for someone like me. I there's a lot of the containers that I haven't used yet and only a few colors that I rotate on. And it's the same thing for the set of Holbein's that I got. I kind of wish I only got 5 bigger tubes of colors than all of these 12 because I've been using these for a while and I some of, most of those colors I haven't even opened yet. So that's just a little advice if you're looking on getting your whole binds and again some people just like to have so many colors and that inspires them to paint and that's also very fair just keep in mind what how you actually use your paints before you buy them i feel like you can save a lot of money that way Another thing that I love so much about gouache is how much easier it is to mix your paints. They just re-wet and reactivate so easily that you can go over your old mixes and work your new colors from there and see where it will get you. Because I don't think I've talked about the acrylics at all in this channel but it's so frustrating to be able to properly plan out in advance exactly how much paint you are going to use for one color because if you squeeze out too small of a paint it gets really hard to replicate that exact same color sometimes and especially if your paint dries before you get it completely right and then if you mix too much then you just have all this paint that you can't use later on because it's already so dry with gouache, it's, it's, that's not a problem. I feel like with, maybe with other brands, they re-wet um, easier than others, but in general, gouache just re -wets so easily. So if you can mix too much, you can always use it later on. If you mix too little, um, you have a lot more time to mix the exact same color because it just doesn't dry. And plus, working on your pre-existing mixes keeps your work very cohesive and that's also an added bonus.
another one that I wish I could explain better without you guys having to experience it yet um, Wash just feels so good when you're painting with it It just glides onto the paper It actually blends quite easily once you get used to how it works By the way, I'm sorry if uh, it gets too loud There's boats outside of my house right now and I think one of the bigger fishing boats just docked That's attracting a lot more smaller boats and just a lot more people in general So it can get a little too loud I do hope you guys can still hear me One thing that I have learned from watching gouache videos and reading all the comments is that in some countries, gouache is actually introduced in schools for kids as a main medium for painting and it just makes so much sense because why are we giving the, these kids watercolors as an introduction to painting when it's just a very hard medium to get used to and also it needs the exact right kind of paper for it to work the way it should and a lot of the time kids are just provided with the paints without actually getting the right kind of paper and that can be very frustrating like i've always loved art as a kid and i think i would have loved to paint too but just watercolors that were given to you in schools they, they just don't inspire you to paint that well and just painting on non-watercolor paper with watercolors can be so frustrating, especially as a beginner. So gouache as an introductory medium to painting actually makes a lot more sense than watercolors. And I also believe, and from hearing it from people who have tried oils before, that it might be a good practice for oil painting which is probably the next thing I'm going to try to explore with it just feels like a natural progression although I do know that oil painting requires a lot more prep work and cleaning up also supplies are much more expensive so I'll still have to see if it's even possible for me Also, one other thing that is not really too apparent in my works because I don't do a lot of blending with gouache is that gouache is actually quite easy to blend. For my next video, I'm gonna be doing an introduction to gouache and I'm gonna include that in there so you guys can see how easy it actually is with gouache. Just how it feels as a medium it feels so buttery and soft i hope i'm using the right words for it but it really makes blending with gouache a lot more fun to do the last thing that i love about gouache is that it's not very restrictive with how you go about your values so you don't have to go light to dark like with watercolors you can go either way but I do, even though I do work light to dark, dark with gouache, still, um, I can still go over my dark, my dark areas with light paint and have it 
still stand out on top. So even though that's not how I normally work, it's still something that's an option and something that makes gouache a lot less intimidating than watercolors. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said before, I will be doing a gouache basics video with how I do some techniques and just how to work with gouache in general. So you guys can watch out for that one too. That will be coming up in less than a week. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon.